Today we're going to be doing Module 4, Day 2. The objective is the foundations for understanding perimeter. So yesterday we did area, today we're working on perimeter. Materials needed for today are your online whiteboard or your whiteboard dry erase marker and dry eraser. And we're going to follow the teaching style where I do it, we do it together, and then you do it on your own. First up here, you can see we have um, a problem from IXL. And we need to find the perimeter of the polygon. So if you remember, this shape from yesterday when we practice our fluency is a triangle. And you see that they're measuring the triangle in yards, so that's why our answer is written in the unit of yards. To find the perimeter of a shape is actually a little bit simpler than you would think. The perimeter is how long a shape is around the outside. So the way to find the perimeter of the shape is to add up the length of all the sides. So we would be adding 3 plus 4 plus 2. I know that 3 plus 4 makes 7, and then if I add on 2 more, that gives me 9. So 3 plus 4 plus 2 is 9. So the perimeter of this shape or this triangle would be 9 yards. I'm going to show you another example with another way to find perimeter. This shape here, we did talk about it. Um, some people mentioned it yesterday, okay? This is a pentagon. A pentagon is a shape that has five sides. So this shape has five sides, and each of the sides are four centimeters long. So you can see they're all the same, okay? So that's kind of like saying I have five groups of four because I have five sides of four. Okay, so I can turn this into a multiplication problem and do five times four. And I can count by fives better than four, so I'm going to count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So the perimeter of this shape or the length that it goes around on all the sides is 20 centimeters. Now, I could have just added 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And I still would have gotten 20, right? I could have put these together to get 8, and these together to get 8. 8 doubled is 16, plus 4 more is 20. So I still would have gotten the same answer, but since I noticed that all of the sides were the same number, I decided that multiplication was going to be the quicker way. But remember that that multiplication only works if all the sides are the same length, okay? So that's a little trick if you have a polygon like that. All right, now I'm going to have you try this one with me, asking the perimeter of this shape. If you remember, this shape is a rectangle. So I want you to pause the video to figure out the perimeter of the shape and then press play again to check your answer with mine. So go ahead and pause now. Okay, so you should have noticed that there's a two, a three, a two, and a three. So we're adding two plus three, plus two, plus three. Okay? We're adding all the sides to figure out the length that it goes all the way around the rectangle. Well, two plus three is five. Two plus three is five. And I know five doubled equals 10. 
So the perimeter of this polygon is 10 centimeters. Now you're to the part where you're going to be working on your IXL alone. It's scale DD3, which is perimeter of polygons. And you're just going to be doing the same thing we've been doing, adding up the side lengths to figure out what the length is all the way around the shape, which is called perimeter. Go ahead and begin. <laughs> 